Coverage you can count on with Lauren Cavazzini. Welcome back, everyone. Now, ice hockey isn't a sport people associate with the South, but one Huntsville native is making strides to change that. Nichelle Simon is taking her shot on the ice and heading to the National Women's Hockey League. But her journey to get to this point hasn't been as smooth as ice. Get him. Get him. It's absolutely a dream come true. Nichelle Simon has been playing ice hockey since she was 17. I started ice hockey late in life and I didn't feel like I... I don't feel like I've played my best years of hockey yet and I just... I'm a better hockey player now than I was when I played in college, and I, I just, I'm not done playing yet. At the beginning of September, Nichelle got the chance to turn her dream into reality with a week-long tryout with the NWHL's Metropolitan Riveters. And actually, after the very first practice that I had, they gave me the heads up that I'd be getting offered a contract. But a year and a half ago, Nichelle didn't know if she'd ever get to play hockey again after she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so I actually, I had a bilateral mastectomy. March, a year and a half ago, March, and I was going to try out that year for the league, and obviously that put a stop, quick stop to that. The next four months would prove to be the toughest challenge as she went through chemotherapy. I mean, I struggled to make it up a flight of stairs. I had to stop three times. Um, that was hard for my boyfriend to watch. You know, I, I was I was extremely strong before that. I, you know, lift heavy weights and stuff, and I'm working out hard, and, and, and here I am. I can barely walk up a set of stairs. When we had it, she went through the, you know, am I going to die? And I said, no, you're not going to die. We're going to get through this. And we did. Nichelle and her boyfriend Eric Smith set big goals to help push through chemo. I kept saying to her, well, you're going to get through this and play hockey. All I wanted was to get through so I could start working out again, you know, and, and get strong and healthy as quickly as possible. Nichelle might not have been physically ready to be back on the ice after her treatments, but she was mentally ready to start training again. And it was slow. The first, um, the first, first few months it was a struggle working out. I mean, it was hard to lift a five pound weight, you know, let alone anything heavier than that. It was hard to run. It was hard to do everything. Now there's no stopping her from shredding on the ice. I think girls need to see them playing no matter what, um, whether you get paid a lot or a little. Uh, getting paid anything to do something you love is an incredible opportunity. And I want to be there to be able to be a role model for girls and women who are coming up in the sport. And it's, it's, very, it's, it's a very big honor to be able to do that at the highest level. Now, Nichelle told me that no one really knows how strong they are until they are pushed to do something they didn't think that they could do. And she's proven anything's possible if you keep believing and working hard towards your goals. Now, Nichelle has also been a coach at the Huntsville Iceplex for 12 years and has taught a lot of kids how to play hockey and to skate. And on Saturday, Nichelle signed her contract for the Riveters at the rink in front of family, friends, and current and former students. And everyone I talked to said Nichelle is going to be greatly missed, but they're all looking forward to going up to New Jersey to watch her play. Here's what some of her players had to say about their coach. She is not just, a, oh, we're going to play around. She is a hard worker, and she says, you have to do that, and she does not let you piddle, piddle around, and she's very tough and strong, and she really works hard. You get to see her from, like, when she coaches you and then when she's actually professional. Now, Nichelle was back in Huntsville for just one day and is actually going back to New Jersey today to start practicing full-time. The Riveters' first game of the season is coming up quickly at the beginning of October. Now, something I also didn't get to mention was she was actually on American Ninja Warrior in 2017. Wow. So she trained for that, yeah. and then she got diagnosed with breast cancer. She's mm. truly a hero, and Absolutely. she inspires so many people yeah. and a lot of young girls as well. Been through a lot, yeah, she has. God must have big plans for her. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you.